Hey Centro, we are so excited to be back with you. Um, we are covering week five today. It's really hard to believe it is September already. I hope that you all had a great Labor Day and are ready for um, a new week. Uh, today we're going to cover some exciting uh, things. We have some papers up here as you can see um, and we're going to talk about just some plan differences that you might want to know as you go into our open enrollment season this year. Sounds good. Yeah, so we're not just holding these up because uh, our arms need something to hold, but we feel like telling you the information and then also you being able to see um, and contrast and compare um, the two different plans. So today I'm going to represent the high deductible health plan, which is also known as HDHP. And um, Aubrey, I'm going to be representing the point of service plan or the POS plan that you might see sometimes in parentheses uh, when you're enrolling in our benefits options or looking at one of our plan descriptions. Great. Now, before we get started, I just want to tell you really quickly, we're going to talk about um, some words that we already covered in our video. It was actually the third video, but it was week two, and we went over the definitions that are associated, often very common definitions associated when we talk about health plans and health insurance. We're going to be referencing some of those today. So, if you are confused at all, please go back to that video, watch it. Um, and and get cleared up on, on those <laughs> definitions. Okay, so in the high deductible health plan, one of the things that you'll find is that your premiums are lower on the high deductible health plan. Again, your premium is what you pay every pay period. It's the cost of your health insurance. So on the flip side, in the point of service plan, your premiums are generally going to be a little bit higher. Okay, so pretty, right. pretty point simple right for the beginning <laughs> right so you can see quite a bit of difference there okay so the second thing that the HDHP say that three times really fast um, that that does cover preventive care uh, services and that would be things like uh, if you are a woman over 40, that's a mammogram. If you're um, someone over 50, that's a colonoscopy. So some of those general health care visits uh, that we all have to have, a yearly checkup and to keep us uh, good and healthy. Yes, and the same goes for the point of service plan. All your preventive screenings are covered on that plan as well so that you um, shouldn't have to pay an out-of-pocket um, copay or anything like that when you go in for those services, uh, I would say you always want to make sure that you check with um, your physician so they know that's what you're coming in for specifically so that you, you can get those services covered. Great. Uh, the next thing on my list is that, uh, true to the name of the high deductible health plan, the deductible is higher in this plan. Well, that's interesting. So on the point of service plan, your deductible is actually lower. However, um, you do pay a coinsurance after you hit the deductible, uh, and then you have an out-of-pocket max, which you'll have to obtain before 100% is covered of the plan on the POS. Okay, and so I'm looking at mine, and the next thing that mine says is, I have a lower out-of-pocket maximum. Essentially, your deductible and your out-of-pocket maximum are the same. They're one and the same. So, I don't have to worry. Um, the main point for me, which Aubrey just kind of talked about the main point of hers, the main point for me as the high deductible health plan is the fact that once I reach my deductible, I do not pay anything beyond that. Um, then Centra or um, PCHP then covers 100% um, after that. And that's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. So it's pretty uh, nice plan you got over there. I'm yeah. going to trade you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I kind of like it. So what else? So let's see. On my plan, um, I also... Uh, have a few things that you can only opt for in this plan. So something called an, an FSA or a flexible state flexible spending. 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 Flexible spending. <laughs> I think we went over this and we had trouble. We did because yours it's is very similar to spending. yours. Right. And mine is With an HSA, which is a health savings, savings. account. 
Now you're sure to get it that, right. See how easy that is to confuse with? Them? That's all right. That's yes. Right. Okay. So on the point of service plan, you can um, obtain a flexible spending account um, that you can use throughout the year um, and put money into that at the beginning of the year so that you can um, use those funds to cover some of your medical expenses. Right. And, next, and we'll talk about right, that Right. Next more. week we're going to talk about the difference between HSA and FSA. Um, and then what else? So on the point of service plan, your pharmacy um, will be covered with copays, which is a little bit different than um, what Stephanie is going to share with you. So you might have you might have already experienced that before, but you'll have various different costs of copays for your pharmacy prescriptions that you need to use. Um, throughout the year. And those are listed in Lawson? They are listed under, in Lawson. Um, under our self-service, you can go in and look at our benefit guide um, and a summary plan description. It will have all the details. Awesome. And so the two specifics on mine, if you can see them written way down here, uh, the HSA, which is the health savings account, is only available um, when paired with a high deductible health plan. And the other thing to consider, your prescriptions are not covered until you reach a deductible. Now, there are a few exceptions to that. There are some maintenance drugs that are exceptions to that. Uh, we don't have time to go over that today, but again, check your benefits plan guide in Lawson. Um, as always, you can call PCHP and they can give you more details. So, I hope that we've done a good job uh, telling you the difference between the POS and the HDHP and that this helps to clear up a little bit for you <laughs> as we move into open enrollment. Um, thanks so much for joining us again this week and we will see you next week. Have a great week, Sandra. Bye.